Hi, my name is Mark Lejeunesse, and uh, welcome to the only juice-themed image data extractor out there. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the Juicer R package, just released on CRAN today, and I'm so excited about it, kind of, that I decided to make a video for you guys just to showcase what it can do. Quickly, my goals for this video is to um, automate the extractions of uh, multiple images, uh, including scatter plots, bar plots, a whole bunch of other types of scientific images, uh, to clean up some of those extractions. Because let me tell you something, those image extracting thingamajigs is actually fairly difficult and prone to error. Uh, but luckily, uh, Juicer's got your back. It has a whole assortment of manual tools to help you uh, clean up and extract uh, data further. And then finally, we're going to quickly look over one of these uh, juicer reports to help you save your extractions. And um, let's just jump into it. I'm in our studio right now. Since it's fresh on CRAN, it, there's no binaries. And so my advice for you, if you're interested in uh, using this beta version of Ju juicer, uh, download it from source and uh, load it in source. Uh, basically, Juicer is a Tickle TK front end for a lot of functionalities I created a long time ago, five years ago, for the Metagear package for research synthesis. Uh, nobody used Metagear that way. I complain about that a lot in um, another video, which I'll link. <laughs> it, but uh, where was I going with this? Uh, anyway, it uses Tickle TK, which is a part of base R. It's a very awkward undocumented thing to work off of. I love working in it just because it's super silly. And clearly I, when I was developing this years ago, I felt like oranges. This is, this is the way to get people to use the <laughs> tool is to um, have everything centered around oranges. And so let's just bring up uh, the GUI right now. It starts off with a, uh, just a simple bar where you could input images. And so what my goal right now is just to load in a bunch of uh, images and then we're gonna press the automate button and then we'll see if it actually extracts data from all these uh, things. So I got a bunch of images here. And this is the uh, overall interface we got uh, automated button here you press this it would automatically try to extract the data let's do it right now it detects the x-axis y-axis and then finds all the points um, and then there's a little manual window with a zoom to help you clean up uh, what you've done i'm going to press this button right here which is the juice it button and <laughs> what it'll do is cycle through all the images and repeat that extraction process it's prone to failure. I mean, I, again, I complain about this in another video. Scientific plots are just incredibly diverse. The goal is to um, extract precise numerical data from these things. But because everybody's kind of reporting things, presenting things in a different way, it just makes it difficult to standardize the extraction process. And so let's just, uh, let's try to do it. So now it's going to cycle, I don't know how many studies, 10 studies, 15 studies, I mean uh, 10, 15 images. And it's doing okay. These scatter plots are, I, I admit I did pick a bunch of plots that were easy to extract from. But it's getting there. And uh, some Im images are just impossible to extract data from, like this one, giant cluster. There's no way to figure out how many points are in that cluster. Some Im images are too small. Again, super difficult to extract data points. Um, all right, we're running to the end here. I think there's a few more. I mean, it's fairly quick. You can process like 500 and easily 500 images in an hour. The tedious part, of course, is going through each image extraction and cleaning it up and making sure that, you know, there isn't some weird stuff um, detected in the images. So it totally failed on uh, this bar plot here. Uh, it detected the uh, y-axis and x-axis, but uh, there, let me hide the extractions here. There's a lot of issues with this image, right? The data are actually floating from the axes. That's a no-no, that makes it difficult to extract data. 
Two, the access lines are like long, and so it's difficult for the extractor to know like what's informative uh, access length. And so we'll let, let's just quickly uh, clean this up and do it manually, mostly because you know this is a small graph. You don't need any fancy technology to uh, extract data from this. And so I'm going to replot the axes here. Then I'm going to add a bunch of uh, error bars. I'm going through this quickly, so I'm not being very precise, but uh, Juicer is pixel perfect. So the, depending on the quality of your image, your extractions will be uh, nice. And then, uh, and then you could, there's a classifier too, which helps you uh, distinguish between groups quickly in your data set. So here we've already extracted all the data from the image. We're going to calibrate those based on the axes. And then we're going to create a quick report. And uh, this report here uh, basically provides the mean and the error bars associated with uh, uh, the plot. And of course, distinguishes between group. You could save it as a CSV. You could copy it to your clipboard if you want to copy and paste it straight into Excel. I mean, this is uh, nice. Let's jump into another image. OK, so this two problems with the, this image, which makes it difficult to extract, is it's small and um, it's just tough to extract things. So I would just like print, do left clicks here and you can delete all the extractions and then um, and then manually add like here for some reason a cluster was detected. So it's not perfect. This one was nice, right? A lot of the points have been detected. The axes are detected. Um, again, it's kind of trying to figure out what this line is and so we can repeat the extraction with a different parameter. This is the semi-automated tinkerer. And there are now fewer points are detected along the line. We could just delete these, for example, and just add some new points where it was difficult. Here, right, small image, super hard to detect. But again, you could use the tinkerer to kind of help it out, figure out all the points. Uh, this image, it did detect all the points, but it messed up on the x-axis, and that's because the x-axis were not clearly defined in this plot. Right? I mean, this is like a ggplot problem where the x, x and y-axis aren't clearly defined. But again, you could qu quickly clean it up. I mean, there we go, and it detected some of the uh, text here as points. You could just delete these things. And then you got your data. All right, last few things I want to talk about is uh, there's some of the reports. Uh, the I got a vignette on my website that uh, describes in more detail the functionality of the GUI. I mean, it's all there. Um, and then finally, the report is set up as an HTML file. It uh, embeds, it keeps a version of the original uh, and then all the extractions also. It looks a little different from the actual GUI because here I'm emphasizing the coordinates of extractions over making it look cool. And then you got your points and all that kind of stuff. And because it's in HTML, it could be, it's easily machine readable. And uh, it, which is nice for me because then I could uh, bring it back into uh, Juicer here and uh, Modify it, save it again, keep a permanent record of the extractions. All right, so this is it for the video. Um, this was kind of an abandoned project uh, years ago because again, it was meant to be like a front end for my Metagear package, which I ne which I never released because uh, I that's my mo these last few years is to like bring a project to 99% completion and just never follow through on that 1%. But I, uh, a few months ago, I was posting videos on YouTube of me extracting data from plots as part of like this uh, goofy course that I was uh, doing. And people were like, oh, hey, Mark, uh, that seems uh, all right. Uh, can I use it? And then I just 
was washed over by a million regrets of having using it in the videos because now I was kind of put in a position of like, okay, I got to release this. This is not time for me to mess around anymore. Um, and so in the end, uh, I hope this facilitates some of your extraction process. It's buggy. It's in beta version. Um, I will update it and uh, hopefully from feedback from you guys in how to, uh, you know, uh, improve the extraction process. I know it's uh, tedious and ugly, but juice is here for you. All right. I had way too much fun uh, making this uh, package. So, all right, take it easy.